is our glaze soils so our glaze soils are going to be poorly drained soils okay so poorly drained means that water isn't going to um, be able to work its way down through the profile so imagine your water particles forming here in your a horizon that they're not able to move down here so your water starts filling up throughout your soil heavy periods of rainfall and eventually is going to flood over the top okay due to being poorly drained soils that means we're going to get waterlogged conditions and anaerobic conditions okay so anaerobic is just a word that means no oxygen present so if the soil is full of water there's going to be no oxygen present that means there's going to be no microorganisms and low levels of organic matter low om levels uh, found over a limestone rock so similar there to your brown earth soils that's found over a limestone rock and are also confined to grazing and broadleaf tree species so generally confined to grazing in a say, example such as set stocking or uh, used for forestry so your glaze form in areas of high levels of rainfall and little leaching so maybe a difference there between your glaze soils and your pod soils so your pod soils have a lot of leaching your glaze soils have little leaching okay so if there's little leaching that means that the a horizons isn't going to bleach okay so it won't be a light in color uh, our a horizon is going to be limited in structure due to the presence of grassland and that is to do with our fibrous material or fibrous roots in our grass and our b horizon a key characteristic i would say here for your um glaze soils is that is a mottled blue gray in appearance okay and that is due to oxidation and reduction of minerals so your oxidation and reduction is basically the addition of oxygen or the removal of oxygen 